In this video, I'm going to review some of the remaining bells and whistles which I've included in my configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents. So let's open up NeoVim and I'm going to go back into this project here. And a first sometimes useful plugin is undo tree. So if I do space and then U for undo, you can see this whole tree which comes up here. And what it allows me to do is if I'm just on this branch, this allows me to go back in time. But I can also revert to other times. Um, let's with enter. And that's useful. It allows me to access points that otherwise would have been lost. So to get a better sense of how that goes, let's say I say one and stop there and then two and stop there and then three and stop there. Okay, and if I go into undo tree, I've just added, you know, three new nodes. Um, let's continue on four, uh, five and six okay but now let's say I undo some things and then let's say now I go in a different direction I add a and then I add B and then I add C okay so if I undo and then redo you see there's no way to get back to the list that goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where undo tree comes in handy. So if I wanted to get back there, I would have to go back over here, hit enter, and sure enough, there's my one, two, three, four, five, six. So it doesn't come up a lot, but you know, occasionally you've undone a whole bunch of things and then you accidentally make a change. And you would like to redo all those things, but they're just gone if you're working in another text editor like Microsoft Word or an editor that doesn't have this kind of functionality. So that's a nice feature. Um, another nice feature is the fuzzy finder. So I'm using telescope. So if I do space F and then these are a whole bunch of different things I can search over. Um, but let's search within this project. So find and it's maybe nice to have this bigger view. And so let's say I'm looking for the word item. So we can see that, um, and I'm doing control J in order to move through instances. And it shows me where it occurs. And you know, it searches across different files too. So we're down here in the to do, we can see there's some items that show up there. Um, and we can just hop to any, any point. So that's a nice feature. Um, another useful feature is Yank, um, searching through Yanks. So let's say I copy this. And so if I were to paste it, then there's my, what I've pasted, what I've copied. And then let's say I copied this. And then say I was gonna go paste number two, but I somehow copy something else. And so two would seem to be lost. I mean, you know, of course I'd have to go back and find two, copy it, and then I would be ready to paste it. Um, but let's say, yeah, I've yanked three, I've copied three, and so, but I now want to return and paste two. So I can do space F and search through my yanks. And so you can see, you know, I can select, even though three was the most recent thing I copied, there was two just before that and three before that and two before that and then you know longer things before that so you know I can enter this whole block if I wanted um, so that's a nice thing as well um, if I know there's some you know bit of text that I know that I copied in the recent past I can just search search through for it um, another nice feature is you know if I'm say just I don't know, typing. You can see this little autocomplete menu. 
And if you find this distracting, um, you can turn this off. And so to do that, we're gonna go into the actions menu and then it's kill LSP, so K. So now if I'm just typing, uh, there are no more distracting menus. Okay, I personally never turn it off. Uh, I don't find it that distracting, but, um, but maybe it is for you. So let's turn it back on with A and I'll go for L, load LSP. Okay, and so now if I'm typing again, now I can make use of it. Um, there is the menu. Okay, um, one other thing you might notice, if I'm hovering over certain words, like typing, that it'll select all similar words. Um, similarly there, selects there, is will select all instances of that and so on. If you find this annoying, um, you can turn that off going into the actions menu with illuminate. So let's turn that off. And then the highlighting is not there anymore. Um, there's something similar if you're searching for a word. So say uh, typing and then I hit return. So now those words are just highlighted and that might kind of glare, you might want to get rid of them. All you have to do to get rid of them is hit return again and they go away. Um, but if you want to return to hopping through all those, you just press N in normal mode and you can hop through all of them um, or shift N to go in reverse direction and then enter to get rid of them. So those are some other sort of nice features. Um, and this sort of exhausts at least the, the basic bells and whistles, which uh, I've included and make use of myself.